Darius here. Uh, he puts out videos. Is that uh, How an do you effort? know Darius? I know Darius. <laughs> I, wa I, watch, I watch his videos. I watch. Recent people CEO. Yes, sir. Darius Sanders in the building. Recent people media. This is Darius Sanders. He's one of the, the people that keeps us popping and keeps our brand out there now. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That thing's one of them down, eh? Ain't nothing else. Did I say that every day? Why do you think I say that stuff? Don't you think I know who's who? Is there anybody else? What we said before Frank the other day? What did I say? You gotta want it. This is so significant because I cannot want this for you. Your coaches cannot want this for you. Your parents cannot want this for you. Your teachers are no one involved in your life that knows you better than anyone. They cannot want this for you. What is it? What you want? Anybody? Success. Success. What does that look like? What does it look like? Excuse me? I like that. What you want? I said well. Well, what you want? Success. Success? It's easy because they said success. Somebody come up with something there. What you want? Freedom. Freedom. I like that. What you want? What? Huh? What? Oh, longevity. Longevity is good. What you want? To give something from the family. Yeah, I like that. I like that. All these things come with visualization. Have you visualized it? Somebody say freedom. You visualize freedom. What does that look like? So for your family, what does that look like? What else does somebody just say? Reach my maximum physical potential. Okay. Have you visualized that? What does that yeah. look like to you? You want it. You got to devise a plan. You got to stick to the plan. Next, next, next word, you got to work it. The won't coincide with work. That's your parents. There's no way you can want something and not work for it and receive it. If you don't work for what you want, you'll never get it. And oftentimes we're not willing to put in the work for what we want. Somebody just said financial what? Somebody just said money, bank, right? Who just said that? Well, What's that? Well, well want it. You gotta work it. How you gonna work it and get the wealth? Because wealth don't just come, because wealth is more than rich. Wealth is just longevity. Wealth is consistency. Wealth is a real thing. Wealth is something that's generational. Want it? You gotta work it. And a lot of folks are not willing to do that, but you know what you want. <laughs> right? What you want? But are you willing to work? Do your work coincide with what you want? Anybody? Do your work go with what you want? Yes, sir. Everybody say yes, sir. Yes. You sure? <laughs> but what if you get paid for how you work? What if your coaches say, you know what? We're going to pay you for what you uh, work today. <laughs> what would you make today out there? You got to win. So if you want it, visualization, then you work it, you put it in the work, that should put you in a position to win. And then you're going to get it. You got to want it, you work it, put you in a position to win it. You're going to be in position if you visualize your want and you work it. You will be in position. Nobody's waiting for you but you. Welcome back to another episode of Box Talks. You know who we got here. You very. Yeah, it's Box. I'm a partner, JB. So with it, man, JB. So we here in the recruiting office. How are y'all feeling now that the portal is open, bro? And how, how do y'all days look like right now? You see this coffee right here, don't you? It's yeah. going down, bro. You know, early mornings, late nights. Yeah. Trying to finish this roster. Yes, sir. I want to get into it, man. It's only day two. I feel like we've been in it for a week and a half, but shit's going. It's, we're going we're gonna to make it do what it do for sure. Let's dispel a lot of myths right now. So when things have came to light recently on Twitter about different people hitting the portal, were there any surprises on y'all's on you all side? And you can be honest, but maybe it was a surprise. You know, I honestly, you know, I tell back the love. I didn't I didn't expect that, but, it, you know, I understand it. You know what I'm saying? That was probably pretty much the only surprise. The other guys, yeah, you know, I pretty much knew or had a, a expectation of them probably leaving. Mm -hmm. What about you, JB? Yeah, same thing. I mean, you expect a few guys to hop in, but at the same time, just the nature of what we do is going to be some unexpected moves. And 
you just got to roll with it. That's just the nature of college football. No doubt. Let's say you put a lot of time and effort into recruiting the guy. Do you feel some type of way when they leave? Oh, man, like these are kids at the end of the day, and they're humans, right? Like we're in the kid business, and at the end of the day, they have made this, NCAA has made this a business, so now like the kids got a different perspective. So they make business decisions just like we do. So they got the opportunity to feel like they can do what's best mm -hmm. for them. So, I mean, I respect it, you know. That's just the way the game is now. Wait, JB, before you answer this, did you play You play college? Yeah, so I played at Baylor. I was there from 2014 through 2017. Played one year at SMU, went to school at SMU, and then uh, I found myself here last year. So if you had the transfer portal back then, do you think it would have hurt or helped the athletes that you came up with? It would have helped because, you know what I'm saying, like at the same time we felt a certain way, same way that some of the players feel it now, it was just tougher to transfer, man. We had to, we had to talk to a coach. We had to sit in front of a panel, like – and at the end of the day, they could deter you from changing schools, you know. So, like, the kids mm. have the freedom to hop in the portal, um, better themselves, and create a better future for themselves. So, sure, I wish I had it, you know, how they have it, to be honest with you. Okay. Yeah. All of them got a story. They all got a background. They all got, you know, situations, you know. It's just, I think, it's, if it's about football, then it's about football. And if it's about, you know, being compensated, it's about being compensated. It's, like, really one or the other. Mm. You know, sometimes it's both. Uh, but... I don't think it's necessarily about the money all the time. I think it does have play a big part in it, but I don't think it's about that. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's a game that we all love, and everybody's goal should be the NFL. And if it's not, I don't want you. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be in the best situation to get you there long term. Yeah. What do you think, JB? Nah, what do you feel about that? Agree with Box, man. Like, just make sure you make this decision. You know, it'll set you up for the next 10, 15 years. And mm. Don't make it about now. You know what I'm saying? Like, instant gratis gratification. So. Just be wise in your decision. Like you said, each story is different. Each player is different. Um, but just make the right decision to set you up for the next five to ten years, not yeah. just now. So, yeah. What do y'all plan to do differently this year now that, you know, you saw what happened last year. Y'all y'all got in the portal and, and went hard, and now y'all got more experience. What do you feel like you can bring to the table now that's going to make it really pop for this season? I mean, at the end of the day, we got a quarterback. And we got players. We got tools. And everybody in the country seen what we was hurting at last year. Mm. And, you know, a lot of guys are reaching out to us. A lot of guys are interested in just being a part of this, you know, this process and this, this dynasty we're building. You know, everybody talk about Coach Lee, man. We're building this thing for longevity. Yeah, bro, I've seen a lot saying? of stuff on YouTube you last know, night. It's, it's crazy, crazy stuff like, going on right now. Yeah. You know, that's part of it, though. We enjoy all that talk because, shit, we give y'all something to talk about. Coach give y'all something to talk about. It is what it is. You know, we embrace that. So, Do you ever take that personal when people try to make, like, recruiting the scapegoat? I mean, you can only do so much. Yeah, developing you know comes within like, you, bro. People only know what they know. You know what I'm saying? So if you're scrolling on your phone on Twitter, you're looking on whatever whatever feed you're looking on, that's what you know. But what we know is really going on in the building. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of block out all the noise and just focus on, you know, the people in the facility. From both of y'all, what do y'all think is the best and the worst parts of the portal, bro? Because I don't know how how, to, how it works, but y'all y'all are like savants I, with it. Like I told you last time, it's such an expedited process, bro. Like you got to... You gotta try to find out who these people are in a short amount of time. Try to figure out are they full of it, you know what I'm saying? Are they, are they just for the money? Are they here for the lights, the cameras? Are they here for actual football? You know what I'm saying? So that's the hard part of the portal to me. You just don't know them. So I think we do a good job of trying to, you know, in the portal, find guys that, you know, we got relationships, ties to, stuff like that. But, you know, you don't know who's in the portal, right? So you yeah. gotta figure those, them dudes out. Yeah. I mean, it's cliche, but like, we really want to know: Do you love football? That's you know what I'm saying. Coach Brown be saying that a lot too. He says it all the time. Like, when things you might have a good day or a bad day, but if you if you rooted in the fact that you know you, this is what you want to do, this is how you want to take care of your your family, yourself through football, then you're gonna stick to that through the good and bad days. Mm -hmm. Just really finding, like Box was saying, the makeup of the kid, but doing it in a short time. So, probably the toughest challenge in the portal. Cause everything yeah. happens so quickly. Anything else y'all want to speak on that y'all been seeing? Sure. This is to give y'all the get floor. Get them on the phone. Yeah, you got to get that phone yeah. number. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? You got to get in communication contact. Like, that's the hard part, bro. That's why your network is so important. Like, you, know, you got to know people. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They know people. So. Where can they hit y'all up at? Is that legal, right? They can hit y'all up? Or do they need to hit somebody up specifically? Man, look, 
Twitter. They in the portal. They in the portal. Hit us up. They can hit us. Okay. On Twitter, Coach Box. Now in the portal. This is Box Talks right now. As you see, we got the hard hat because we hit the portal hard. You dig? You know what I'm saying? We just put in work, bro. No, I can't. I'll put JB shoes on there. Chanel. We got a lot of matching stuff like going on. Just sipping on that juice. Early morning. No cream. Straight coffee, bro. So you know he's a, you know he's a maniac. But yeah, we'll tap back in with y'all boys probably later this week to give y'all an update. Like one time, someone was really scared to play in a real game. Is them dudes that be singing on the bus and rapping so loud before the game, bro? Like with this? Yeah, they'd be like. Uh, I wouldn't name an NBA Youngboy song, but I don't know any of the worst, bro. I feel like the people that do scream on the bus, they really be trying to kill shit. Cause they don't got no headphones, so they turn up touching. From my experience, I've never seen that happen. Daryl, uh, even Ray Charles. To see I want to get your opinion quickly on the portal, bro. Um, how you feel about it overall? Good, bad, ugly? You think it's beneficial? Cause you play you play college football as a player. Would you have exercised that option if you had it back then? I stuck it out way till I graduated to transfer. So. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go through some adversity in life. But everybody's situation is different. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that everybody who jumps in the portal, you know, is, is running from adversity or whatever. But, you know, ain't nothing wrong with a little adversity and going through what you're going through. Um, but I think it's kind of certain situations. You gotta look at everybody's situation. But at the end of the day, everybody's gonna do what's best for them. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, man. I like that. <laughs> Is that from that commercial? Let's go, let's go. Eyes, eyes, all eyes. Feed after me. You gotta want it? Gotta want it. Work it. Work it. Win it. Win it. Want it. Want it. Work it. Work it. Win it. Win it. Want it. Want it. Work it. Work it. Win it. Win it. Now today, I want to see who want it. And you're gonna prove who want it by your work. And if your work and your want add up together, you're gonna win your rep. <laughs> Every play, every play, we going all out. Defense line, am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. Defense line, am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. O-line, I don't want to see you jogging lightly off the field like this. I want to see you take the field and leave from the field with passion. Yes, sir. We got that? Yes, sir. It don't take much. It don't take much. Wound it. Wound it. Wound it. Wound it. Work it. Work it. Win it. Win it. Wound it. Wound it. Work it. Work it. Win it. Win it. Where my Charlie at? Please, <laughs> Charlie's second team right now. Don't move him until I say so. All right, let's go. Keep working, Charlie. Damn it on three. One, two, three.
Yeah, since I'm 29 years old. How dirty he wanted to do it. Hey, Salo, come on. Do you really want me to go? Go! Oh, you want me? Oh, you don't want me to go. Caleb will real one. Caleb will go. Hey, you know, I always lock you up anytime you ask. No, I'll, I'll lock you up today. No, go. No. Get back. Yeah, you ain't real if you walk out. Strap. You didn't even, hey, didn't even look what? at me this whole time. You didn't even make eye contact with me this whole time. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, y'all keep making him think he's cold. Y'all keep making him think he's good. Hey, Coach, let me guard you. Fan, they keep making him think he's cold, bro. When Coach Mathis unleashes me at corner, bro, y'all gonna feel me for real. Unleashes me. Because they don't know. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh, that dude hits. take angles, bro. Good angles oh, makes plays. Dictate leverage. All right. <laughs> stay right there, stay right there, stay right there! <laughs> oh! He's out! He's out! He's out! Hiding from my pool table, man. Three against me. You Every day is a new day. You have not beat me. Every day a new day. So I'm not about to waste my time with somebody day, that can't beat me. Every day is a new day. I'm not so about when to waste I my time. with somebody that can't beat me, would you play somebody that's under your level? I'm telling you, I didn't think anybody so. on the pool table, you, right? we get right. So, so we, we get you. Right. So we wouldn't play you. I heard Coach Fleet tell y'all just worry about who's in this room. How y'all dealing with? Blocking out the distractions right now. Love you, dude. My guy right here. Game. My dog right there, Mies, man. Shit, sure, you can't you can't let the outside noise get to you. That's when you start to, you know what I'm saying? Get off your game. I'm gonna stay on my game always. And I'm never gonna let the outside noise get to me. Yes, sir. That's straight up. Oh yeah. Hey buddy. Who else got a fool? Wait, stop, let me see. Oh never mind. I'll take that one. No, no, no. It's been five weeks. I'm OG. OG. I understand that, bro. Wait, wait, wait. How'd you do that to that boy? Did you see that? Yeah, I did see that. What's the, nah, what's, what's your, <laughs> what's your interview? Why'd you do that to him? I had to get my get back. He smashed me in the uh, tackle drill. Smash you? Come on. Come on. <laughs> what? You never like that. Don't start now. What? <laughs> I was practice today, bro. It was good today, bro, as a collector. I need to do some better things, though. With hands and stuff. We getting better every day, though. Hey, we got 
got a food truck there. What's going on, bro? They brought it for you. Is this free? Yeah, it's free. <laughs> oh, what? We finna grow. We finna eat good. What? Come on, bro. One burger, you get, you get food there? Yeah, I'm trying to. All right, bet. Hey, bro, chill. Oh, man. Rock, you need to put something on your head, bro. I do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, food comes first, though. Rock, put the helmet back on your head. Uh oh. <laughs> food comes first. No, I work too hard for this. I'm, I am 100% like all in and out. I mean, my, my family from Cali, so I ate that all the time. Bro. But like, <laughs> in and out all day. That's all I eat, brother. Mark, don't eat rice first. Nah. I'll take some chips first. Okay. You said camera too hot. <laughs> How you hang up on people with that phone? <laughs> yeah. You hear that? It? Yeah. Guys, uh, you're losing some guys to the portal. What are you looking for to reestablish? What position groups are you hunting? Um, in I, I wish you guys do a little more homework when you start talking about the portal and understand uh, what we're losing. What are we losing? Bring it time today. Backups. Mm. What are we losing? Potential starters and potential. Yep. Where? Tight end, running back. You haven't been watching practice, huh? Well, we're not allowed in. Amen. <laughs> we good. We good. I trust uh, the recruiting team. I trust our coaches. And please have some faith in me. We good. We all right. We all right. What happens with the portal, man, and, and you guys need to know, a lot of people are fighting for backups. When a guy's a starter and he transfers, you got to really think about that. I mean, is he really dead? I don't know how many starters have really transferred around the country. But we can attract those type of players, but I don't think we're losing those type of players. And, and if we do, we're good. We're good. We're making a big deal out of nothing. So, I coach, I don't like God, I want to say so much stuff, but I can't. God, I want to say some other stuff. I, I keep remembering my head coach. Let's go. Yeah. How do you, as a program, kind of make sure guys stay even killed with a lot of attention, a lot of pressure, schoolwork and all? You know, what, what do you kind of tell them in that regard? We, we, we have tremendous relationships. Uh, we, we know our kids. They know us. We have so many different departments and resources to assist these young men in any form or fashion. And he's a young man that's dear to my heart. I know his father personally. And I can see the spirit on him that he's, he's carrying weight. He's, he's heavy. So I just wanted to let him know we love him. We appreciate him. Anything that he needs, we're there for him. Even if he needs a break, but he's not that kind of guy. He's a workaholic, wants to work hard, wants to work his butt off, want to get in, want to earn a position on a special team or defense or whatever. And I just appreciate him and his focus through all the turmoil and the trials that he's facing because we know what they are. It's visible, everyone knows, but he's rocking steady, man, and i uh, got a lot of respect for him. He's a good young man too. God, he, his father raised a good young man. But I wish you could have a conversation with Shador and just tell him to just show you his DM one time. You would not believe the kids that call him or call Shiloh because they're high profile young men that calls Travis, that calls Jimmy, that calls some of the guys that has been here that it's the standard um, to fill us out to see where we are because a lot of young men we can't talk to is not legal so what do they do they communicate through one another you guys got to learn that stuff that's that's how the communication starts and that's how it works so when Shiloh was making a joke which he was about hit me up my brother offensive defense or whatever it it's a joke but it's actually real that's how stuff happens uh, players recruit players, man. We do a wonderful job as, as the staff, but they got to be validated by players because they played with those players that you're talking about, either in high school at an all-star game. Uh, they know somebody, they know somebody. That's how the recruiting thing works, man, for real. It's players. They know who the dogs are and who the cats are. Sometimes we, we get caught up in the, the personal 
aspect of it. We may know the uncle or know the father or try to, you know, be a, a refuge for the mother. But no, players know players and how they get down. Excuse me? Uh, I want, you know, I want the best for him, man. I really do. I want that kid to soar. I want him to man up. I, I, I want him to be the best possible athlete and human being and person that he can possibly be. I want him to to fulfill all those dreams that that his mother and, and, and he desires. I, I really, really do, man. I think he's a, a young man that's going to find his way real soon. And sometimes you need uh, to disconnect from something, to reconnect to something else, to restart you and re-energize you and, 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 and stabilize you. But uh, I don't dislike any of the kids that may leave, man, because I, I, I just want the best of them. I, want, I really do. I, I'm just crazy like that. I really want the best for all these kids, no matter what transpires in their life. And uh, some of those guys are going to go and they're going to be a one somewhere else, which is a beautiful thing, and I think that's what they desire. And that's what the goal is, to be a starter, to, to go to the NFL and, and live that dream, man. And I'm all for them. I want them to do so. Dylan is a tremendous asset. We're going to try to get the ball to Dylan in all forms and facets. We, we, we got some pretty good, good receivers. So... He has to develop that tremendously to be able to take a receiver off the field to put a running back out there. That, that's, that's kind of tough. That's asking a bit much, especially with you, you know who we have coming here as receiver and who we have already in house. But Dylan, man, I mean, just splitting him out at times and seeing him in front of a linebacker out wide is, is, is a scary thought. Um, and Pat is going to do a great job, man, of, of getting him the ball where he needs to get the ball on the go. Um, he's developing, running the ball inside as well. As you know, he can get outside and he change the speeds, change the pace, and his burst. And uh, his mental and physical toughness is, is uh, above par. We're proud of him. We really are. Who is your NFL comp for sure? I don't do that. I don't compare my kids and nobody's kids to another kid. I want them to be the first of somebody, not the second of somebody. I don't do that. I don't comp them to nobody. Ain't another Travis out there. Ain't another Shador out there. Ain't another Shiloh and Jimmy or Jonte. I mean, shoot. These dogs on the line. I don't, I don't. NFL does that foolishness. I don't even know if that even sticks. They always try to do that to, to get to peak your interest. I don't believe in that. And I don't know who reported that. I said there were several teams that my kids wasn't going to. Whoever did that is a liar and that's stupid. And uh, I like to track that. I like to track that stuff down and hold people accountable in the media, man. Like, they should not be able to tweet or text or something. <laughs> like, they put some stupid out like that. That was, I don't know who, who ran with that. Who was the first one who reported that? <coughs> it was me, Coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you, son. <laughs> I'm shouting. I'm your favorite. Hey, 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 they, they tripping about your, uh, your, your post. You told them I'm trying to win? But isn't that how, isn't that how it always goes? <laughs> Remember, we, we used to South Carolina. He had people uh, calling you about wanting to come to Jackson with you, right? Yeah, it's about players. Like what you said in your interview yesterday was spot on. What did I say? I don't remember. Like, you're not just – the first person you're going to reach out to isn't really just going to be a coach. It's going to be a player, right. one, of, one of your friends you know. They're going to check the temperature. They're going to see how the program is because another player is going to tell them that. They don't know that's how the NFL is too, by the way. Yeah, he's right. Exactly. One more so I get out of here.